Good morning, you guys. So I have literally been sitting, well, I've been up and down a lot, but just sitting here since bright and early this morning, I've had my coffee. I've done my daily Devo. I have um, just been reading some books and that is not something that I usually do. I'm not a big reader, but we've got some things going on in our life that we will eventually share with you that we have been studying up on and just trying to figure some things out. Um, but anyways, guess what? My timer's going off because I have two loaves of bread in the oven, sourdough. Um, well, actually I just took one out. I gotta show you, hold on. You're probably really tired of hearing about this sourdough by now, but get used to it. It's part of my life now. Okay, this one didn't turn out as amazing as I thought it was gonna be. Of course, it probably tastes really great, but this is a jalapeno cheddar loaf, and I cannot wait to cut into it. It's gonna be like another hour or so. Hold on. The other loaf I'm getting ready to take out of the oven right now is just a plain Jane loaf of sourdough. Um, I'm really experimenting with this and finding out that timing truly is everything. Uh, I know I put out my little recipe thingy the other day, tutorial on my um, other channel and complained a little bit about our grandmothers didn't have all the fancy tools and this and that. They just did it and it worked out great. But I'm finding that timing is everything. Okay. Woo, that's getting hot. I may need to put this one back in the oven a little bit longer. I'm just trying to check the internal temperature of it right now. Yeah, it needs to go back in for just a couple more minutes. But, um, it overproofed and didn't turn out quite as pretty, but it doesn't matter. I don't really care how it looks. I just want it to taste great. So that one's going back in for five more minutes. But anyways, I want to tell you that Mike and I got out this morning for a little bit, like in between baking times and went outside. He wanted to just get outside and um, maybe go out and hit the golf ball. You might know, you may not know. We have a little golfing green out back that he and our boys built or made and like babied it and everything and have taken really great care of it. But um, we went out and hit the golf ball around a little bit this morning. It was so cold out. Like I had to come in and put my hands under hot water. It was so cold to me. Anyways, I know it's not cold to some of you, but we are going on a date tonight. So that means I need to take a shower and get ready. <laughs> I'm such a homebody. In case you didn't know that, I just prefer to be home, but I am very excited that we're gonna go on a date. I don't know where we're going, what we're doing. We just kind of fly by the seat of our pants, but it'll probably involve going out to eat and coming back home and watching a show or something. But I'm excited about that. So maybe I'll show you what we end up doing a little later on today. On a date. We're going on a date. Do we know where we're going? Uh, we're gonna go eat at a Mexican food restaurant. Probably go to Ted's, because Ted's changed the locations, but there's another Mexican food restaurant somewhere we saw and thought, ooh, we gotta go to that. Julio's. Cousin. Ah, Uncle Julio's. Uncle Julio's. All right. Yeah, so we may go there. We'll see. All right, so we went on our date. Kind of the same old, same old. Well, when you're when you're not really movie people, which we're gonna go home and probably watch a movie, but you know, in the confines of our living room, and you know, stop it when we want to, and if we don't want to finish it, we can go to bed or go to sleep or go do something else, and just choose a good movie yeah, or not. We just don't. Uh, there's not a whole lot of things to do that we like to do. We always think, well, if we could find a really cool place that had live music and go eat there do a little two-step or something like that that'd be fun but uh we don't know yet so if anybody knows of a place like that yeah we had to get the coffee we always get coffee we went to ted's yes that's where they, we they moved the locations here in broken arrow oklahoma and it was really good it was really good food's always good they have homemade tortillas and we got some chicken fajitas and it was it was good so it's delish would, would recommend so we woke up to some snow this morning. 
it's just wet snow, so nothing crazy. I don't think it's supposed to get below freezing, so we won't have to deal with ice, I don't think, anyways, but it's just a cold, icky day out, and we're about to get out and run some errands. All right, I wanna show you guys what I finally did today. I got grandbabies pictures in the frames and I think they just look so stinking cute. Love my little babies so much. There's little Bodie, he's doing really well, you guys. Um, there's Miss Hallie. Greenlee. Westy Poo. Like I told you, sourdough has become part of our lifestyle now. And so I pulled these loaves out of the oven this morning and I can't wait to cut into them later this evening. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. So today's kind of a special day for us because it is our half anniversary. Yes. So 30 and a half. 30 years, Is point five. 30 point to five years <laughs> together years, married yeah. today. And so if you don't celebrate half anything, so you can always celebrate half birthdays and half anniversaries or whatever else. Obviously, it's just six months away. It worked out really good for us since August 14th is our anniversary. So not hard to remember February 14th. But we are spending the day together doing some interesting things. We're on our way for Mike to get a haircut. Gotta, get gotta look nice for my Valentine. <laughs> And then we're gonna have lunch, and then we're gonna meet some friends for a little meeting, and then we're gonna, shopping. Yeah, we're gonna go shopping and get groceries for our Wednesday night meal at church. We're gonna do baked potatoes and all the fixings. Yep, all the fixings. So it should be a fun, eventful Valentine's Day. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We had lunch at one of our favorite places, Jake's Cafe. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. So I made Mike a special little miniature loaf of, no, those are not blueberries. They are charred raisins. But I'm cutting into this little baby to see what it, <laughs> hope I don't cut my hand off. I think we need a circular saw, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, it's not, it's not terrible. <laughs> oh boy, I'm kind of scared. <gasps> it's not bad. I'm excited. <laughs> it's a little baby loaf. It's almonds and raisins. Okay, so now Mike is gonna be the taste tester. <laughs> the almond raisin loaf. Does that have a flavor? Not bad. Good? Would you eat it? Like, what? I should have put cinnamon in it. It's not bad. It's so cute. Okay, this, oh my wow, jalapeno cheddar, dying to cut into it, and then just a plain Jane old loaf of bread there. Yeah, I would eat it. So, Taryn is about to cut into the jalapeno cheese. Jalapeno cheddar. Are you ready for this? What, what happened to all my cheese? <laughs> I cut them little and tiny this time, so I don't know. I'm just gonna cut a slice off and eat it. Cause it just is the bestest. It's in there somewhere. Goodness, it all just like, oh, there's there's like a big pocket of it. Are you waiting for me to grab it? Mm -hmm. Cut out whatever you want. It's good, but I like to taste the cheddar a lot. 
them. So I just finished the week out by cleaning my studio up a little bit. Sometimes when I'm in there working, I just tend to not put things away and they get a little piled up and it's just nice to kind of stop and refresh it every now and then. All right, so if you guys celebrated Valentine's Day, tell me what you did with your sweetheart. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me hear from you and we will see you guys next week.